I'm Ashley Kyle. And I'm William Holtz, and this is your Lake of the Ozarks news update brought to you by Lake TV and LakeExpo.com and sponsored by Polylift Boat Lifts in Sunrise and Osage Beach. Today we'll be talking about how officials are already planning for the August shootout, find out what race supporters are asking for. The castle in the clouds turns out to have sky high value. A great week for some Camdenton students and a local favorite hangout is getting a bit of a facelift. But first, here's a look at what's happening around the lake this weekend. Have you been trying to plan a date night with someone special or looking for something fun to do with the whole family? On Friday, you should head over to Old Kinderhook for a dance party on the ice. From 7 to 9, DJ Soundmaster will be playing all of your favorites while you skate and enjoy hot chocolate and s'mores around the fire. Skate rental is $10 and then it's $3 for a session. It's a perfect outing for the whole family or a romantic date night. A lake tradition continues this weekend with the Mardi Gras Pub Crawl. This Saturday, you can leave your keys and take the bus all around the lake. Buses will run from 4 p.m. till 2.30 in the morning and stop at 20 different locations on the way. A $10 wristband means you can jump on a bus, kick back, and have fun. Check out lakepubcrawl.com for a list of venues and find out who will be performing around the lake. And be sure to stay tuned as we have event organizer Jeff Carroll joining us here at the news desk later in the broadcast. And a celebrating Mardi Gras pub crawl style isn't for you. You can also join the Lake of the Ozark Swing Dance Club for their Mardi Gras Swing Dance Celebration. That starts at 8 p.m. on Saturday at the Ozark Yacht Club in Lake Ozark. That does sound like a great time, Ashley, but I'm not much of a swing dancer. <laughs> well, actually, they can even work with someone like you, Will. A lesson is actually included in the admission cost. Lessons start at 7, so get there early to brush up on your dance skills. Tickets are $7 for members and $10 for guests. Interested in an archery tournament? Well then head to Lake Christian Academy in Sunrise Beach off of Highway 5 this Saturday. The tournament is at 1, 2, and 3 p.m. with divisions broken down as follows. 4th through 6th grades, 7th through 8th grade, and then grades 9 through 12. It's an individual and team tournament and costs just $15 per shooter. Genesis bows and arrows will be provided by Lake Christian Academy. Pre-registration is requested but not necessarily required as the event is welcoming walk-ins. For more information, you can call Daryl Dixon at 573-434-0643 or call Lake Christian Academy at 573-374-1500. The Morgan County Relay for Life will hold their annual kickoff Wednesday the 17th. The kickoff starts at 6 p.m. and is being held in the basement of the Lori Branch of Bank of Versailles. It is an open house style with information booths for businesses or anyone who is interested in finding out more information or even getting involved with this year's relay. All cancer survivors, people currently battling cancer, and caregivers are welcome to attend. The sky is falling. Well, maybe not, but you could find out for yourself with the Astronomy Club on Saturday. They are hosting a special guest speaker, Dr. Kevin Evian, who is a professor of geology at Missouri State University. Evian will be talking about meteor impacts in Missouri. The lecture starts at 5 p.m. at Central Bank of the Ozarks in Camdenton. Everyone is welcome to this free event, and afterwards, telescopes will be available for night viewing. And I know a lot of people are really feeling cabin fever about now, but the weatherman says this week is going to keep warming up and make Saturday a great day for golf. The winter tour at Deer Chase Golf Club is a two-person scramble with a shotgun start on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. If you're interested in joining, you should call Deer Chase Golf Club to make your reservation, and you might want to do it soon because it looks to be a perfect weekend. And if you're more of an indoor person, then you might want to check out the Shawnee Bluff Vineyard this weekend. On Sunday from 3 to 6 p.m., you can explore your creative side and paint wine glasses taught by Inspired Brushes. It costs just $20, and that includes your wine glass, paint, instruction, and all the fun you can handle. Give the Shawnee Bluff Vineyard a call to RSVP. Well, that's just some of what's happening around the lake this weekend. Head over to lakeexpo.com for a complete list of events and stay with us because coming up, we'll find out just how much it costs to have and lose mm -hmm. a castle in the clouds. That, Jeff Carroll with the Mardi Gras Pub Crawl, and much more after a word from Polylift Boat Lifts. Polylift Boat Lifts. Your boat is a major investment. Make sure it sits on a polylift. When you need a boat lift to raise your boat out of the water, choose the one voted best boat lift at the lake. Choose Polylift. Any size, built with the best quality construction, a lifetime warranty on the tanks, and the service to stand behind it. We don't just build boat lifts, we build Polylifts. We don't just build boat lifts, we build Polylifts. I'm here with
with Mardi Gras Pub Crawl event organizer Jeff Carroll. Jeff, tell us um, when the pub crawl is. Well, we're excited for the 2016 pub crawl and it's this weekend, February 20th on Saturday. Starts at 4 o'clock and includes uh, 21 of our local establishments. Very good. And um, how will people get around to the different establishments? Um, we're going to be running 32 route buses this year. So we'll have 26 uh, regular route buses and six express buses and then we will also have seven hotel shuttles. Oh very good and um, what safety measures have you guys put in place for this event? Oh, we love to tout that this is a very safe event for the lake area although it does include going out and, and crawling from bar to bar to bar um, we have got uh, it set up to where you do not have to touch your keys you can come in for the weekend you check into your hotel room you drop your keys in the drawer the hotel shuttle will get you from your hotel to your first stop and then from then on you'll be on our regular route and then at any given time in that evening you can call that hotel shuttle and go back to your to your hotel or at 10 o'clock the regular route buses will drop off at the hotel. So for those you, those of you out there that want to go out and have a great time and not drink and drive, this is the event for you. And how is this event good for the Lake of the Ozarks? We bring in quite a bit of money at this, at, in, at this time of year for Lake of the Ozarks. Um, we'll do have over 1,200 overnight stays, and it's projected that the event will bring in about uh, $1 million yeah. for the lake community. That is great. And are there any other events coming up? Yeah, we're really excited about the 2016 uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. It's March 12th there on the Strip in Lake Ozark. And this year we have opted to choose uh, the emergency services as our grand marshal for the, uh, for the parade this year. Um, they are uh, well deserved. Uh, they Definitely. do a lot of work in the community and a lot of work to keep us safe and so we figured we'd give something back to them. That's great to hear. Um, check out the pub crawl coming up this weekend. Thanks for joining me, Jeff. Thank you. What's been happening at the lake? Well, here's a look at some of the biggest news over the past week. Well, yet another local construction company is looking to fill a gap in senior needs around the lake. Revelation Construction is planning to build a 40-unit senior housing apartment in Osage Beach. Developers have been scrambling recently to provide the aging community around the lake with housing that is both affordable and comfortable. Okay, so let's assume that this project moves forward. What's it going to look like? Well, there's a 26-acre area along Bluff Drive that they are hoping to build on. The land was cleared, but it was abandoned by a previous developer, and that's caused a lot of problems for neighbors ever since. People who live downhill from the track can't even put boats in the lake anymore because it's filled with so much sediment from the property. Osage Beach City Planner Carrie Patterson said Revelation's plan might be the best option for the property because any developers would have to work with multiple state officials to fix the erosion problem. But after some investigating into that situation, it appears not everyone is exactly sold on the idea. Exactly. Many neighbors are worried about deja vu all over again and are afraid the developers will walk away. But the owners of Revelation Construction say that's not going to happen because they're part of the community. Their kids go to school here and say they want to build the apartment to fix what someone else messed up. Co-owner Sean Brewer said his company could build more than 150 duplexes on the property and sell them, but he would rather build 40 nice senior apartments that are good for the neighborhood and the lake. The Planning and Zoning Commission agreed it's a good idea and they recommend the City Board of Aldermen approve it. If you have an opinion that you'd like to share about the development, the Osage Beach Board of Aldermen is holding a public hearing on March 3rd. Another board was very busy last week when locals, race fans, and business representatives filled the Sunrise Beach Board of Trustees meeting to discuss the upcoming shootout. Supporters were there to urge city trustees to pave the road to the race. Literally, they're asking that 900 feet on the south end of Kula Bay Road be paved. The road is currently gravel and a bit dusty. Race director Ron Dugan and owner of Captain Ron's Bar and Grill said the road is a concern because it's not adequate for power boaters, large and expensive rigs. But the village says there just isn't money available right now. That's right, and a project isn't as simple as just pouring blacktop over the gravel. No, it could actually be very expensive because it involves major road prep, building the foundation up, and removing trees. One major issue that is current transportation funds are tied up in the Highway 5 widening project. Supporters argue that the shootout generates millions of dollars each year for the lake economy, and paving the road would be a good investment. Sunrise Beach Mayor Kurt Mooney agreed to look at the budget in April when they adopt the next year's financial plan. He also suggested the shootout could donate a portion of the cost so they could work together to pave the road. 
It seems like fires have been sprouting up everywhere lately. Even a castle in the clouds was destroyed recently. That may sound like a place that exists only in your dreams, but for the owners, losing this modern day four story castle has been a nightmare. Their home, which also served as an alternative healing center, burned to the ground on February 9th and was so thoroughly destroyed that investigators can't figure out how the fire started. No one was injured, but the owners lost several pets in the fire and believe the value of the house and all its contents eclipsed 10 million dollars. No word yet if they will rebuild. Missouri State Highway Patrol Trooper Anthony Piercy is pleading not guilty to charges of involuntary manslaughter. Piercy faces the accusation after a handcuffed man, Brandon Ellingson, drowned in his custody in May of 2014. After a lengthy investigation, Special Prosecutor William C. said the charges against Piercy last December. The charges carry the implication of recklessness, and if convicted, Piercy could serve up to seven years in prison. The Highway Patrol has placed Piercy on leave without pay. A trial date has yet to be determined. We know every parent thinks their kids are the smartest, but this week our entire community has proof of just how gifted a group of Camdenton High School students really are. The school's math club showed off their skills with numbers in a contest on January 30th. They went up against kids from seven other schools, including Lee's Summit and Excelsior Springs, and came out on top. The group won second team overall and grabbed seven first and second place wins in the areas of algebra, word problems, geometry, and calculus. And Lake TV congratulates Rachel Harris, Caitlin Medlock, Emily Wilkins, Shay Potter, Tyler Nowak, Grace Tillette, Tara Poole, Lucy Sinner, Lucas Mosher, and Miranda Sauer. Awesome job, guys. Another group of Camlington students spent their winter learning about the birds and the bees. And it sure made a big difference for the bees. The Wyota Quail Forever chapter hosted the Camlington fourth graders for a hands-on environmental restoration event. Students got out of the classroom and planted seeds for more than 80 species of native wildflowers and grasses. Jody Mulder of the Camden County Department of Conservation was also there to teach kids about the importance of bees, pollination, and the role pollinators play in making many of the foods that we eat every day. The seeds were planted behind the Camdenton Library and will provide habitat for native bees and other pollinators. Shawnee Bluff Winery may operate in one of the oldest buildings in Lake Ozark, but the winery and vineyard are under new ownership with a fresh vision for the future. The two locations, the winery in Lake Ozark and the vineyard in Eldon, boast two beautiful venues and two astounding views. They've made a name for themselves with locals and tourists alike because of their unique local wines and excellent band lineup. Last year, the vineyard hosted big named acts like Asleep at the Wheel, Grand Funk Railroad, and the Oak Ridge Boys. And rumor has it, a couple of big acts will be coming through this summer too. New owners Gail Griswold and her husband Barrett Elwin purchased the winery and vineyard from her parents and the, their business partners. They plan on rolling out a new menu that will be a mix of healthy and traditional bar food as well as ramping up wine production at the vineyard and hiring a brewmaster to expand into beer making. While there will be some new stuff in store for customers, Gail knows that the local band set the mood for a relaxing evening of wine tasting. She plans to keep it a good place for people to go when they don't want to hit a lake bar, but they still want to get out. Well, that's the lake in a nutshell. I'm Ashley Kyle, and this has been your Lake of the Ozarks news update. Thanks for watching us on Como Connect Channel 90, and watch anytime on MyLakeTV.com. Don't forget to connect with us on Facebook and Twitter at MyLakeTV. And you can check out our recently launched Instagram page at handle My underscore Lake TV. For Ashley Kyle and the entire news team, from here at the Lake TV studio, I'm William Holtz. Stay classy, Lake of the Ozarks.